Now we are tracking some of that rain, especially off towards Snohomish County. Right now, taking a look across the Seattle Metro, we've got some lighter winds, east northeasterly flow coming in about 7 to 10 miles an hour. Temps in the mid 40s, and yes, it has been raining steadily throughout the evening. Here's where the big gusts were today, especially in Seattle proper. 54 SeaTac had a 59 mile an hour gust between about 8 and 9 this morning. Hoquiam, of course, was gusty at 53. Bellingham got on the scoreboard with 40. Yeah, it was kind of an abrupt start to the week there. Happy to report things are considerably calmer out there right now. In fact, seeing a lot of single digits, even seeing the word calm over Port Angeles, which is something very nice and something we didn't see a whole lot of last week. Another check in with Everett where we've got still lots of raindrops on the lens there. In fact, as we take a look at Payne Field, that's one of the areas that we saw right in the crosshairs of some of that heavy rain earlier. Let's take another look at what's going on. The good news is there was a lot of lightning as this cell was coming on shore. That seems to have dissipated as this is stabilized, but still doesn't mask the fact that we still got some bands of heavy rain that seem to be trained right over top of Everett. So as we continue to track it where you see some of those oranges and reds, that's where you're seeing some of that heavy rain right over top of I-5. So as I was discussing earlier, it's just so much sometimes that even your windshield wipers can't handle it at their highest setting. So you know, if you get the opportunity, especially if you're driving in heavy rain, just pull over, let it pass. It looks like it's going to move fairly quickly from the southwest to the northeast there. Taking a look up towards Lake Stevens, looks like we got a band of heavy rain and a pocket of especially heavy rain just off towards your west there. That'll continue to push through. Muckle Teal's got some action happening right now, as well as Clinton. This is going to clear tonight. In fact, I showed you this earlier. I'm going to show it to you again. We get a little relative patch of tranquility both Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we tap into this late Wednesday night, and this one is going going to be a bit different. So, you know, we've been marveling at the fact for the better part of the last week to 10 days, we've been seeing that heavy rain just pummeling California and we've been getting the leftovers. This one looks like it's going to be a little more generous. So as it moves in Wednesday into Thursday, it looks like it's going to bring some serious rain our way. We'll keep a close eye on that. Meanwhile, this cell will clear out tonight and look at that 830 tomorrow morning. Oh, clearing and it looks like it's going to last throughout the entire day when the sun sets right around 430. It looks like we'll actually see it then 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. We start to see some just kind of moderate showers moving through and then the main event will move through in the evening and as I mentioned earlier, it looks like it's going to stay active for us all the way through the day on Thursday. Seven day forecast shows some opportunities to see some sunshine on Tuesday and for the first half of Wednesday and then we're going to tap into that rain and keep it soggy all the way into the weekend.